I want to give you a little tip, a little, uh, a little tool even, you could consider it. It's about how you expect your day to go tomorrow. So whenever you're watching this, think about your day ahead tomorrow, right? And I want you to say and, and sit with the question, how do I expect my day to go tomorrow? Now, we don't really ask ourselves that question very often, but it's, it's interesting that we don't, given how significant the expectations we hold about our day tomorrow really are and how, how influential they can be. It's because if we're expecting something to happen, it can, of course, become this sort of uh, self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? Where, you know, if I go into the office and I expect to be met with hostility, it's far more likely I'm going to interpret everything as hostile, regardless of what's going on from the other side. So sitting with, okay, what are the expectations I have here? And this is like such a, an interesting question, and it does also go back to the self-worth issue, the self, self-esteem issue. Because a big part of it is, how do I, what do I, how do I believe I deserve to be treated? And that's what I come to expect about my day tomorrow. Maybe if I don't have high self-esteem, I'm almost going to tolerate and, and, and be okay with walking into situations in which I'm not being respected. So how do I expect my day to go tomorrow? Now, to be honest, I think quite a lot of us have this expectation that my day tomorrow is going to suck. And this is why, you know, we have, we have a story about it's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard, it's going to be a struggle. I might even tell it to my partner. I may, might even tell other people in my life about how my day tomorrow is going to suck. And, and what I'm doing is I'm seeking affiliation with other people. It's called affiliating. And I'm actually rehearsing my expectations about how my day is going to suck tomorrow with other people. And this rehearsing of it makes it even stronger and it becomes a sort of a belief system and again, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So really... The good news here is there's a thing I call body thoughts or your, the way your nervous system can influence how you think. It really can influence how you think. Now, your nervous system, if it's had a difficult experiences in the past, it's kind of like a, an algorithmic a program almost where it looks at past experiences and it makes its prediction about the future. So if you've had difficult experiences, it's going to say, tomorrow's probably going to suck, so prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the suckiness of your day tomorrow, which is ahead. Now, really, that's actually not an accurate, your nervous system cannot predict what tomorrow is going to be like. And it's certainly not aware of this metaphysical stuff we're talking about, which is the importance of the own expectations you're bringing into it to be the self-fulfilling prophecy. So what we have to do is get clever about this and realize that, okay, my nervous system is going to expect my day to suck, but I can start to really question a lot of this. I don't have to believe what the anxiety or the dread in my body is telling me about tomorrow. I can just see it as my body, okay, it's help, it's trying to help me. Now, maybe it's not been particularly helpful in that moment, but it's trying to help me prepare for this situation. But if I change and just start to examine some of my expectations and realize that my expectations have power and start to change them a little bit, you might find that your experiences are not what's been predicted by your nervous system. So a few questions I would suggest that you, you kind of sit with if you want to look at this thing about how is my day tomorrow going to go. What is your story like about your day tomorrow? You know, feel into that. What's your body telling you about tomorrow? Um, how do you feel your day will go tomorrow? Are you generally optimistic about it? And if not, why not? What story is there around that? And have you been rehearsing a negative story about your day to come with anyone else in your life? And just to, to notice there may be an opportunity in holding back from that in not using, oh God, I have to go into work tomorrow or I'm dreading this because this is rehearsing a story around it. I'm not saying that you keep your feelings bottled up inside, but if you just notice that you have 
been constantly saying the same kind of thing about uh, a dread feeling you have towards something, that it can become a story, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is just, basically this video is an expectation to sit with that really useful question. How do I expect my day to go tomorrow? And to realize that there is power in those expectations because it'll influence how you react to the things that you meet. So it's something maybe you could bring into your journaling, right? How do I expect my day to go tomorrow? And try to get into, uh, to question some of that maybe negativity or those body thoughts that are kind of all about protecting yourself and, and being uh, avoiding dangers. So guys, I hope that's a useful video. And as always, thanks for being with me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.